Terry. Mm. Uh, so, you know, this is a matchup that Shanique does have recent experience in, and uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, you know, if you can play this matchup against Darkstalker, yeah. then uh, I kind of yeah. think you, you should have a fair advantage. You know, the Darkstalker matchup is w it's a weird old thing. I know. It's a he, weird thing. He, he is an amazing pilot of this character, so it'll be an interesting experience to see how uh, Shinny can do it against the same character, but a different player. Okay, back it. Ready, back yeah. That was really good patience from Shanique, just dashing in and out, going for some paint. Shanique, something I've been really impressed by in the past has been his advantage state generally. Yeah. Oh, calling out so many options here. These back airs are just so powerful. Mm. Their ledge trapping as well is so clean. Being able to especially utilize down, down smash uh, to you know, pressuring opponents and taking certain Great options and then punishing them for it. Not Ooh. enough ink to end the stock with that F smash Ooh. there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Decent recovery there by Petrino. Go is online here and now situation. Can you use it? But Shanique saying, no, 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 I'm not even going to get that anywhere near you. We're, mm. I'm, we're only scrapping on my terms. Oh, catching that roll away, yeah. and that's going to be the stock finally yeah. there. Petrino's mash there, not entirely uh, as quick as it needs to be to escape that situation. And yeah. uh, now Shanique can just hold on to this lead, ink them up, and take more damage along with it. Great STI. Yeah, and that's one of those things, the matchup experience. Yeah. Yeah, I think as Terry, you know, you're used to being able to just do that however you want, but as soon as you play a great player like Shanique, you got to get used to. Another okay, this one. isn't something okay. that I can do. Ooh. Okay, off of ledge right now here. Okay, oh, a little bit of Very crash aggressive. Back. Aggressive crack shoot yeah. back on stage. That was very a la Darkstalker. <laughs> <laughs> very, very Darkstalker esque. Up throw, up air, gonna take that stock. Even at that late percent, that's still confirmed. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, another thing about Shanique is that Shanique is very confident with all of those confirms. Yeah. And it's, like shockingly yeah. so, it they'll, is crazy. Yeah. They'll never miss a booyah. Yeah. Uh, and now back off stage here, plenty of time to stall out and just relax. Back air into the jab, racking up damage, damage. and racking up ink. Oh, the damage, oh my it. god, that's it! That is Filthy it! Filthy stuff Woo. from Shanique there. Yep. A quick free stock by Shanique there, saying, yeah, I play this matchup against the best. Yeah. Can you be the best in that game? Shanique says, no, no, no. They can do it. Uh, really, really well played by Shanique in that game one, taking Free stock, some crowd action as well, keeping things very exciting. It's just Lugie. It's just Lugie. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Lugie. Yeah. It's Even always Lugie. Here's someone shouting in the crowd, it's Lugie. The resident, the resident vibes master himself. Smash 4 was Kim Zoo, but now it's Lugie. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to be back into this. I wonder how Petrino might be trying to adapt to this, because that was a very clean dismantling of that Terry. And uh, yep, straight back in mm. here again. Shanique warming up their hands, feeling pretty confident. Let's see how they are going to uh, expand on this. Okay. Terry in their glow-up phase, from, gr <laughs> from, from green to gold. Uh, yeah. You know, now's the time for them to show what they've got. Again, starting off a game with a yeah. lot of ink and a fair bit of damage yeah. as well. That inkling jab is so useful. Yeah. The the damage multiplier on ink is such a powerful tool for uh, uh, for inkling mains and uh, really demonstrating how that can be gained to best use. Oh, okay, trying to call out that edge from a down air, but just managed to get through it for Shanique. A good little bit of advantage play by Petrino, showing they're still very much alive in this set. Definitely, yeah. Definitely signs of life, and we're going to see it continue so far. The pressure's Ooh, been so good. Okay. Bit of a misplaced up yeah. B there, but it doesn't actually matter so far. Yeah, it still it doesn't have that much lag on landing, but oh, these these rollers have been calling out so often and letting uh, yeah. Shinny get out of awkward situations. Oh, yeah, good air dodge there. in that time, yeah. Oh, the amount of space that like the, the ink on the ground from a uh, roller can control is so annoying. It just means mm. that you're so much slower in that space. Yeah, and that yeah. can really hurt characters like Terry. Ooh. Oh! Okay, managed to SDI out of it. SDIing into the final hit. Just not enough to take the stock, though. Great DI by uh, by Shanique here. And could this be... Oh, yeah. what a call out from Shanique. And really that's great. Oh, okay. <laughs> and again, and it's... Yeah. Yep. Solid, consistent play all around. Shanique, yep. so aware of all of Petrino's options yep. there and covering each yep. one perfectly. Cookie cutter edge guarding there. Nothing is going to stop you from that space. That just shows how solid Shanique's gameplay can be. That wet flow chart is so perfect. And all they need is one opening, and then boom, that's all it's going to take. Send yep. you all the way out of here. For sure. Shanique, a very high percent oh! now. Petrino finally okay. catching that stock with the up air. For Petrino's first stock is here, and it was a good one. Uh, taking that up air there, and how much can they take it? A little bit more competitive this time, but the back air train. Oh, and it cool. continues even more. God, waiting that out. jump getting caught, and we're seeing. Oh. I think this might be it. Yeah. No, no. Petrino does get to come back. I always forget yeah. the drift on Terry is so good, and we're yeah. going to see no follow up from Shanique, oh. sadly. Shanique did such a and good job. Oh, there. that's. Oh, yeah. That's, that's crazy. unfortunate. That trade. Shanique did such a good job there of baiting out that burst option of the uh, of the side B. It's got such a big hitbox that mm. can very easily clank or, or or just fill out beat other moves. The drifting back, waiting for it, and then punishing it is really really well played by uh, Shanique. It just demonstrates not only their own gameplay but how well they know this matchup. Yeah, no, for sure. 
pressure and on you know what, Petrino doing a lot better this game than last one in terms of uh, just get, like racking up that damage, yeah. finding those openings, Ooh. and even mix-ups like that. Yeah. It was actually a bit unfortunate that Petrino got the hitbox he got there. Yeah, interesting. I feel like uh, one thing that Shinny's been doing really well is they get one hit and they don't just automatically do their combo. They wait a little second yes. because I think Petrino's been throwing out a lot of burst options in panic situations. Oh! Ooh, calling okay. out the roller that yeah. time. So the R smash there was a really good option because if they uh, roll it into your shield, it is smash up. You can smash mm. stack it, you can not smash it. But also, a lot of Inklings will try and jump cancel it just beforehand because then they have less lag. But if they jump cancel it, where are they jumping? They're jumping over your shield, yeah. which you not smash will hit. For sure. Uh, it's something that Dark Souls utilize a lot against Shanique, and uh, Petrino showing that he has that, that, that knowledge there. Oh, splatter this is shoot. looking really rough suddenly, and Shanique's got this offstage oh. situation on Raps. Petrino managing to find the ledge okay. there. Doesn't need many hits though for Dark Souls. So uh, for uh, not. Dark Souls, the Dark go Souls is on carry. deck. Oh. Oh. Go is all you'll need. It doesn't take many interactions there. He's landing on the platform. That's going to be it. Okay. Oh, not quite. Not quite. So close, though. Just God, make barely damn. too high percent. Boo, boo, nah? <laughs> uh, a little bit of pressure on the ledge there. Good effort. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> pressure, pressure. This is a scary spot for Shanique here. Shanique knows better than as many people, but all you need is that one hit, and this could be it. Definitely. I feel like Shanique Ooh. might. Oh, okay. okay. I thought Shanique was going to be looking for that back throw off stage. This could be it, though. Great recovery mix up there, not just immediately panicking. Power done. Oh, so close. Yeah, Petrino is actually really close to taking this oh. suddenly. Oh, <gasps> the trap! No way. That's oh, so God, unfortunate that's for Petrino. God, any hit could kill him. Oh, uh, and there the we mash, go. Yep, the mash was looking a little bit better, but that F smash is going mm. to take it. Uh, really well done by yeah. Shanique, of course, but also amazing work by Petrino. Yeah, some good adaptation shown in that. It takes a lot to get free stock by an amazing player mm. in game one and say, you know what, I'm not going to fret. Yeah. Uh, I can relax. And in that game two, making it very, very, not only just competitive, but also. Very easily could have won yeah, it. You know, right? won, yeah, right. You know, if that jab hadn't traded and had got the clean hit, mm. that could have been all all, uh, all Petrino into that game three. So, um, yeah, really sure. well played to them. And uh, hey, it's very impressive when uh, a player can adapt like that. Yeah, let's see the replay then. We've got. Oh yeah, this is going to be the big opening from Shanique here. The back air into that into jab. the jabs. Just so such a consistent little tool that Inkling such a use. It's such a little standard bread and butter. <sighs> So and nice. Boom. Yep. Punish that recovery uh, option. Another case of Shanique just being so aware of all of Petrino's offstage options. Yeah. It, 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 that's the thing. Especially, uh, especially in game one and the beginning of game two, Petrino demonstrated that, you know, uh, I think a lot of you know, Terry's will be, they're quite used to being able to just throw out their burst options. They have big hitboxes. Mm -hmm. People will try and challenge them and then yeah. bada bing, bada boom. Uh, they get back to stage, but but Sh Shanique had the perfect knowledge of going, I'm just in the space just outside of it, and then mm. use my big disjoint to beat it out. And uh, really, really solid and impressive yeah. gameplay by Shanique, and understanding of that character very well, and understanding mm. how to beat them. Sure. I, I've been so impressed with just all the sets.